Hey, how's it going everybody? Alex here. This is a follow-up video to the Kind Authentication and Medusa V2 integration. And what we're going to be doing is associating a Kind user's details to your cart. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is, first of all, make sure that we already have a context provider created in our front end. If we don't, make sure that you go to your cart react context section of your Medusa V2 docs, scroll to where it says create cart context provider, copy this code, go to your cart provider, paste it, and let's just fix an import that we have here and we're done. You're also going to need to create a region provider. If you haven't done it, make sure to do it. So the next thing that we need to do is go to the client side docs of kind authentication and import a couple of things. So let's go ahead and do precisely that kind auth data client. You can just click here, scroll down to where it says is authenticated. We're going to copy the import, put it in our cart provider and hit save. Then we're going to copy the hook use it inside of the cart provider. And we're also going to get the user details, which is going to give us name, email, a whole bunch of stuff that already comes uh, prepackaged with kind. Now, the next thing that we need to do is scroll down to the section where it checks if a cart uh, ID exists. If it doesn't, it creates it. And we're going to go to the else statement and we're going to create an if condition. So if the user is authenticated and the, I think it's cart dot email does not exist, then we're gonna do something. We're getting a type error, I imagine. Uh, card is possibly undefined. Uh, let's just do that. And now we're getting another type error. Property email doesn't exist. Ah, my God. Uh, it's just a bunch of TypeScript errors for the sake of the tutorial. I'm not really gonna worry about it. You guys handle it however you want. But what we're gonna do inside of here is we're going to create cart update logic. So let's go back to the Medusa V2 docs, go to where it says update cards and scroll down where it says update carts customer. Now, the way that they update a carts customer is by passing the customer ID. Let's assume that you don't have that right now because you would have to edit the properties that kind passes in a token. It's a whole process that it's just like a little too complex. This is gonna be a lot simpler. Um, we're just gonna copy this to our clipboard and inside of the new if statement, we're gonna paste it. And now where it says customer ID, instead of passing a customer ID, we're gonna pass email. How do I know that I can pass an email? Well, if you go to the update a cart, um, part of the documentation, the store API documentation, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff that you can pass in the body. In this case, I can pass email. So now instead of passing the logged in ID, what we're going to do is we're going to pass the user dot email. Where did I get user email? This is also from the import that we brought up here. And I think we're getting another type issue. I imagine user is possibly null. Fix it however you want for the sake of the tutorial. I'm leaving it as it is. And just like that, we're actually done. So I'm going to hit save and we're going to go back to our front end and test that everything works. So I, I'm making sure that I am not logged in, but now I am going to. So we click it. Give me one second while I get my code and we've successfully logged in. Now let's take a look at the console over here because we're also console logging the new cart data. There it is. Now let's look at the object ID. And what do we see here? We see we have our customer ID, even though we didn't actually provide it. And we also have the email. Now, how did we get a customer ID if it like if we never provided it? Well, the reason for that is because I've already made a purchase prior and had included my email. So now when, when you do a guest checkout and you've included an email, if you go to the customer section of your Medusa docs, you'll see it right there. So it's essentially pulling the customer ID from this user that had already been created. And if we click onto it, we'll see the customer ID is 01J5X. And if we look at the console log of the cart, we'll see that the customer ID is, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Customer, here it is. ID 01J5X, which is exactly the one that we saw up here. But what happens if the email does not exist? Well, let's take a look at it. So let's log out and let's go to register. And let's use another email that I've never used before. Let's hit continue. No account found with this username. Let's create one. Alexander um, Hernandez. And I'm going to create a new identifier, new email. And we're going to say Alexander Hernandez PR gmail.com. Hit create your account and give me one second while I get the code. All right. So we got it. We hit continue. We give it one quick second while we get the actual console log. Let me pop it open before it actually does provide it. And there you go. What do we have? We go to the object ID and now we click on customer and what do we get? 
a new customer ID with a new email address. And if we go to the backend customers and refresh it, you'll see that we have the new email we just provided with the new name. And if we go to back to the front end, you'll see that that information is all here. And we there you go. It's that easy.